Hey, I'm just Vosco and we're in a brand new game. This is the catch, carp and course. And that was really good timing because we have a fish on. So let's, let's try and get this one in without the line snapping or something like that. Let's reduce how quickly we're bringing it in. So far, this is okay. Oh, speed it up a bit. Here it comes. Uh, I'm on the Scottish Lake. Uh, let's lower the rod a bit. Yeah, I'm on the Scottish Lake, and I love this lake. I've actually only played this, and then I went to the English Lake, which I can't remember what it's called, because I've, I've been playing this game for about two hours. Um, that's all the experience I've got. So if I'm not very good, you're going to have to excuse me on that. Um... But yeah, I've been the Scottish Lake. I really enjoy. It's so beautiful. This game. Like it, I used to go fishing years ago, and I mean we used to go every weekend. It's been a very long time since I've been fishing. Uh, can you come in, please, so I can actually do my intro? Um, so yes, I really enjoy playing this game. It's really relaxing. What have we got? Looks like a carp, mirror carp. I want to say. Oh. 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 No. Don't. Please don't. Please don't. Come on. You watch my first fish break off. No, nope, we got it. There we go. <laughs> Excuse me. Let me clear my throat. So, yeah, we've got a, a leather carp. It's a common fish. Uh, 17 pound 5 ounces. And we got that on a single sweet corn. That's a nice little fish, that is. So basically, we've got three rods. We've got one out at the minute, which is over there. That's rod three. That's a gravel rod. This is also designed for gravel, the rod we're casting out now. So we're going to get that out there like that. And then we're going to place it down. And then we're going to get rod two out, which I've got set up with cheese. Um, and, oh, never mind. Rod three's gone. Let's get on it. Come here. Oh, come on. Don't go right now. Please don't go right now. Please don't go right now. <laughs> come on. Well, this is a great start to a video. Two, two fish in a couple of minutes. I think this is a diddly one. I'm going to say a roach. Yeah, it looks like a roach. Come on, roach. In you come. Is it a good roach? I don't, That's a chub, isn't it? I want to say chub. It is a chub. It's a common fish. That's three pound and fourteen ounces, and we got that on a tuna match boily. So let's pull him back and carry on. Uh, I will get all three of these rods in the water in a minute. So I want you to go about there somewhere, like so. Perfect. Uh, we will place that rod down, and now we will try and get rod two in again. So this is the cheese rod, and this one's for silk. I've got this set up as silt, silt, that's what I meant. Uh, so we're gonna just cast that one out there somewhere. Which should be in the right location-ish. Yeah, there we go, silt. So that's silt over that way, and where the other two are is gravel. <laughs> I'm pretending like I know what I'm doing. I actually don't. Uh, I just cast me rods out. I like this. Look how beautiful the surroundings are. And listen to the sounds. And it's just so relaxing. Um, is this going to become a regular thing on the channel? I don't know. It depends if it's popular or not. Uh, I might do it every Sunday. Whether it's popular or not. Because I quite enjoy playing it. Um, it was Titchworld who got me into this. He's been playing it for a while on his channel. And he suggested I give it a go. And I have to admit I do like it. There is a bit, it's not just a case of catching and then just reeling them in. There's a, there's, there's, there's a bit of challenge at reeling them in. You have to sort of play, play the fish on the line, as it were. So I'm going to sit here until we get a few more bites and probably bring you back. Because you probably don't want to sit here and watch me wait, as it were. Um, I think we've got sweet corn on the one. We've got the boilie on the other. And then I want to say we've got... Wait, let's go to W and I'll show you my setups. So we've got sweet corn, cheese and boilies. They're all on the basic rod that you start with, the basic reel you start with and the basic line you start with. And that is pretty much it. 
There is nothing exciting there at all. But I've caught some really nice fish so far. There's, like, there are some koi carp in this lake, which I've caught two of them so far. And they're really pretty. Um, chub, I think I've caught two in here. Eels, there seems to be a lot of eels in this lake. I keep catching them, mainly on number two, out in the this, this silt. Um, so yes, if anything interesting happens in the next couple of minutes, I will bring you back. And we've got a bite on two, so let's bring that in. Oh. Ooh. I think that's a bit bigger than a chub. So, so far, how I figured it is I just reduced the speed that I reel in and move the rod round a bit, and that sort of stops the hook from straining and breaking. No, no. Nope. Aha! He says. I just sort of press buttons till, <laughs> till I get the fish in. Come on. You know you want to. It's coming in a bit quicker. It looks like a carp. I don't know what sort. I'm not going to lie. I, I, if I had to guess from looking at it from here, I'd say magic, uh, mirror carp, magic carp. Bloody on Pokemon now. Um, wait, 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 wait. Don't you break that hook. Come on. Okay. Don't strain the hook. Don't strain the hook. Uh oh. Uh oh. No. Stop it. Please. Oh, what's happening? Come on. Oh, this thing doesn't want to come in. Oh, it is. It's coming in. Well, it's getting closer. Are you going to come in? It did come in. What have we got? Let's have a look. Look at that beauty. Even the fish look really good in this game. Is it a perfect game? Probably not, but I like it. So that's 18 pound and one ounce mirror cup. We've got something on line three, so we should get onto that now. Uh, here we go. Sort of all happens at once on this game. Come on, hook slipping. Why is the hook slipping? Now nah, fish is on, there we go. Oh, this is a little diddly jumpy one. What have we got here? Come on. That was really easy to get in. Oh, uh, we got a little chub going on there. I do like chub. Uh, I think the only time I've caught chub in real life is on the River Y. And they are really nice fish. That's the only place I've caught a barbel as well. And they are beautiful. Okay, so... Which rod have we got here? I have absolutely no idea. Does it tell me on screen? No? We've got rod three, which needs to go over this way, doesn't it? So let's get that in there, like so. Rod one is not doing a great deal at the moment. But maybe... He says, he says rod one isn't doing anything, and then bam! Oh. Nope, nope, nope. Don't you... Don't. Oh. <laughs> this must be really bad to watch, but I am learning. Please keep in mind I'm learning as I go. Oh my god, this thing doesn't want to come in at all. Come on. Hook strained, hook slipping, hook strained, hook slipping. Uh oh, no, no. No, I'm being nice. I'm not reeling in. Oh, I'm going to lose this one. I know I am. He does not want to come in. He is getting closer, though. Slowly but surely, he's getting closer. I wonder if I can go up to speed 5 and try and get him in a bit closer. I can hear a heartbeat just beating away in my ear at the moment, telling me he's so close to breaking off that line. Which is a little annoying. Come on! I really want to land you. It is another carp. He's coming in. Oh, no he's not. 
No, he's not. No, no. Oh, that was my own stupid fault. But I am a learner, so let's get this line in, shall we? There we go, lovely. Uh, let's get the rod back out there. I don't think I've got any rods in the water at the minute. So you go out that way. There we go, perfect. Oh, I've put the wrong one in there, haven't I? Yep. Okay, bringing it back. So you're a gravel one, so... Yes, because you were rod number one. We were just saying how you haven't actually done anything. And then you went, yeah, I have. Watch this. Bosh! I'm going to break your hook. So you go out that way. Like so. And we'll put that one down and we'll get rod number two back in. And we want that one over this way because that's where the silt is. Oh, too much. Overpowered. Well, it went out there. That's fine then. I'm guessing overpowered only means it is a bad cast. But it went where I wanted it to go, so we're going to go with it. And now we wait again. Which I don't mind. With this... With the, the sound effects in this game, the birds singing and the music, uh, the wa music, there's no music, the water trickling, it, it's just really relaxing. I could quite happily sit here for a good couple of hours just fishing on this lake, just happily. And hopefully learning how to do it better. Um, so yes, how are we doing? Anything biting? You know that the fact when I go, I'll bring you back in a second and stop recording, uh, that's when they're going to bite. It's just guaranteed. Let's have a look around the lake. So yeah, this is a lake. You can actually get boats on this game and go out on your boat and fish. Um, which Titch actually suggested on this map that was the best way to do it, was out on a boat. Well, I'm quite happy sat here just fishing off that island. We've got number two in, so let's grab number two, which is where we lost one before. Oh. Come on. Don't go that way. Come this way. God, that thing's flying over that way. No, 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 no. This way. Don't go around there. Okay, let's reduce it slightly so we bring him in a bit. There we go, that's good. Bring him in. I reckon this is another chub. Maybe an eel, actually, the way it's moving. Number three's on the go. We're going to have to ignore that for the time being. Oh, what is that? I have absolutely no idea what that is. Oh, no, no. There we go. We've got him. What have we got here? Oh, look at that. Lovely koi carp. I'm going to... 16 pound, 14 ounces. I can't take a long time to look at him because we do have another fish on number three. So let's get on to that. No, please don't. Hook strained. Not strained enough, though. That's fine. Oh. Yeah, it is. It's strained now. Come on, that's it. Stay there. Don't go around. Please don't go around there. Please. <laughs> Come on, try and get him in a bit further. A bit closer. Here he comes. He's coming back round, hopefully. Yeah, he is. There he is. Come on, you. All we need now is for number one to go, and all three of them would have went in, in quite close time together. Another carp coming in. I'm going to say mirror carp from the looks of it. Oh. Oh. No. Okay, bring him in. No, don't bring him in. Oh my god, this guy does not want to come in. There we go. We've got him. What have we got? He's a beauty. The fish on here are so nice looking. I wish I could catch fish like this in real life. It, it just didn't happen. I think the biggest carp I caught was nine and a half. Uh, this is 19 and six, so that's great. 
I've actually, one of my friends actually got in contact with me the other day and tried to talk me back into going fishing again. But God, it's been so long, I don't actually know if I could remember how it's done. So what, what have we got here? We've got number three, which goes out that way. So we'll get that back in over there. We'll do a little bit more on this video. At the moment, we're doing quite well on carp, which is nice. There you go. So you can go in there. We'll put you down and we'll get number two back out. All we need now is for number one to kick off. Okay, so number two can go out there. There we go. That's perfect. And that's going to sit in the silt for us and that'll be quite happy there. So, again, it's very much a waiting game. I told you the fact that if I decide to stop recording and say I'll bring you back in a second, that's when it would all happen. And it did. Uh, let's catch a couple more fish bef before the end of this episode. I could really see myself spending quite a bit of time on here. And there's a lot more fish. Like, the species of fish on, on this game, there's a huge selection compared to what I'm catching here. I'm just catching chub and carp so far. But there's catfish and... All sorts. Uh, there's predatory fish like pike and things like that. Um, I'm actually really looking forward to trying to get some of them. There's some boss fish, which are the hardest fish to catch on the game. So that'll be interesting to keep an eye out. You've got boss fish, specimen fish, and common fish, I think it is. Um, I'm actually playing this on my Steam controller, which is, I don't play many games on my Steam controller. I'm very much a keyboard and mouse player. But it just seems to fit this nicely. The only other game I used to use my Steam controller for was Euro Trucker Simulator. Which is a bit cheaty, but I, it was over that or a mouse and keyboard. Um, and the controller was so much easier. I do actually have a steering wheel now that I use for it. But it has been a while since I played that as well. Since I started YouTube, it tends to take up a bit more of my time. And then work's been quite busy, so actually gaming for pleasure. Well, I... I I still enjoy doing it for YouTube. I'm not saying I don't do it for pleasure. Um, but, you like, gaming in your spare time has become less because I've got other things to be doing. So it's nice to be able to play a game like this that I really want to play. It's brand new. I've only just bought it. And I can still cover it on the channel, which is nice. So hopefully you guys like it and I can do another episode. So I think I'm going to let you go for a second. If anything happens, I'll bring you back. Hopefully we'll get an eel. We haven't had an eel for a while. Um, and most fishermen don't like catching them, but I quite enjoy them. They put up a good fight normally. Uh, so I'll talk to you in a second. Okay, no word of a lie. As soon as I press stop recording, it happened. <laughs> Come on, you. Oh. I'm still getting used to trying to control the rod, I have to admit. Because on the Steam controller, there's, it's like a touchpad, D-pad thing. Oh, this is a diddly one. Is this a chub? Roach, maybe. I'm going to say chub. Because chub seem to be quite common on this lake. There we go. It's a lovely chub, actually. Quite a nice chunky thing. Four pound and four ounces. We will take that. We're slowly building up in levels, which is nice. There's a lot of things. Nothing is locked on this game. It's not like you have to unlock things. But you do have to... You get points for every fish you catch. And then you use those points to unlock new items. So if I go to... Are we all good? If I go to the shop, for example. Uh, say we want to edit one of these. We can go here. We can say, well, let's change the oily to something else and we've got a few choices we've got chopped worms red maggots cheese and there's all sorts of things the double sweet corn i'm quite interested in yes um but yeah there's loads of things you just use your points to unlock them basically um so i'm not going to change anything for the time being because this seems to be working for me these these three setups obviously when we go to different lakes I'm guessing, or different locations in this lake. Um, I'm guessing, oh, oh, we've got number one. I'm guessing we'll have to use different setups, but for the time being, this seems to be working. So let's get you in. Why are you, 
Don't slip. Come on. This is another diddler. I'm going to say this is a chub. Chubs seem to just dart around like mad on here. Oh, he came in really easy. That might act. Yeah, it's a roach, actually. It's a lovely little roach. Do you know, my only thing about the roach is, look, at the eyes aren't real enough. They need to be a bit more shiny and, I don't know, look into your soul sort of thing. Uh, that was one pound and 13 ounces common roach. Let's pop her back and get the rod back into the water. We'll get that out there. There are match fishing on this game, so you can actually join in a match and compete with people. Um, I think there's a peaceful multiplayer, so if you don't want to compete with your friends and you just want to go fishing together, you can actually do that. So what have we got on here? I reckon this is a carp, the way it's moving. I love the fact that you can sort of tell what it is just by the way it acts. Like, if you look at this compared to the chub and roach it definitely has a different movement in the water and things like that it is coming in okay though i'm not gonna lie i'm quite happy with how easy this one's coming in so far uh touch wood i've probably just jinxed it now are you a carp oh i can't it might not be actually oh he's jumping around on the water come on let's Put some welly into it. What have we got here? Another chub, actually. I'm shocked. That chub completely different to the other ones. Oh, well, that sort of ruins my last <laughs> statement, really, doesn't it? So that's a four-pound chub. We're going to pop him back, and we're going to get our rod back in the water. This is going to be quite a short episode. I just wanted to sort of introduce you to the game and see see what you as the viewer thought about it and if you wanted to see a proper series on this game i'm going to carry on playing for the meantime i'm quite enjoying it i'm probably going to spend most of the evening playing this so if you do enjoy this episode please hit that like button and if you haven't done already please subscribe it does help the channel if you want to see more of this hit that like button put a comment in the comments below anything to let me know you want to see more and until next time I'll see you again.